The Greek Arm Wrestling Federation, the organizers of EuroArm 2019, has officially left WAF, and the reasons to why they left will really make you scratch your head, so buckle up, because it will be an interesting ride. The Arm Wrestling Nation of Greece has officially left WAF and joined IFA, and they have, after a long time, released an official statement explaining to us why they decided to leave WAF, and I am gonna read it to all of you right now. Dear members of WAF, we are in a pleasant situation to inform you that our board decided unanimously to pull out from the World Arm Wrestling Federations due to the fact that in the last period took place some very unprofessional, peculiar events and facts which injured our trust to this organization, especially their executive. The result of this irresponsible, superficial and finally suspicious behavior of WAF's executive is proof that they care less of the progress of arm wrestling sports than their personal splurge and benefits. More especially, we describe here under effects and the events which pushed our federations from WAF and our decisions to join the International Federation of Arm Wrestling which welcome us to the sports society. We have joined the WAF in 2008 and we were always in good standing with our financial obligations towards WAF, ready to collaborate for any project could support our sports development. In the year 2018, WAP proposed us to organize European championships in our country and they provided the requirement minimum needs to infrastructure of this scope. The qualification was in a very high and seemed impossible to achieve the requirements that WAF demanded at least in Athens and nearby suburbs. We our side proposed to organize this event in Crete Island, but they refused this our proposal. Our surprise was huge when we found out that WAF had plans to organize the European Championships in Lutraki, a city 70 kilometers from Athens with a private company which is against every logic and ethnics of our sports federation in any country. On top of this, the requirements were eliminated and the demand for the private company that finally organized the event were in very low standards contradicting their initial intentions for the quality of the event. We were very skeptical of their behavior and we couldn't engage and guarantee the financial obligations of this private company towards third persons so we decided to be absent from the event. Meanwhile we had asked at 10th of April and again at the 5th of July 2019 in Britain from WAF General Secretary and President to address in the Greek state the culture and sport minister as well as the General Secretary of Sports, a letter in their confirmation that we were members of WAF and we represent in Greece Arm Wrestling Sports being the official federation. As we explained to them, we needed this letter to support our advanced discussions with the Greek new sport minister with subject the restoring of uh, arm wrestling autonomy as an uh, independent sport and not as a division of wrestling federation that was actual status of our sport. The previous minister being misinformed took this wrong decision. This action normally should be supported strongly from WAF because it was upgrading our sport and releases from a needless custody which uh, treat arm wrestling as sub-sport. But what a surprise, besides the verbal assurance of WAF secretary for a quick sending of the document to the Greek minister in our second written tracer for the faith of the letter and after two months of delay, he announced to our president over the phone that our personal reasons the president of WAF denied to provide the letter which was obviously against the interest of our sport. Off top of this, uh, they didn't provide any answer to a letter preferring to cover up their guilt with silence. After the shocking behavior and exhausting a patient waiting a written response at the beginning of September, we took an anonymously decision to secede from WAF and join IFA, believing that this action will protect and develop further in Greece and abroad our passion for our beloved sport of arm wrestling. We wish you great success to your goals and we hope that we will meet you again in the future in healthier structures for our sport. Konstantinos Prasarakis Sravrolo Sugiori, the President and the General Secretary of Greece Arm Wrestling Federation. And I looked for a certificate on their Facebook page of their membership, and here it is. And they wrote this on that post. I had to translate it because I can't understand the Greek language. We are pleased to announce that the pa Hellenic Federation of Kietoropales. Hellenic Arm Wrestling Federation is a full member of the International Federation of Arm Wrestling, IFA, based on Zurich. With the promise of uh, making every action of the autonomous accords of our sport and in our country and its release to, from foreign to it. 
In the context, we are waiting for the people of Kiroto Palace to be brought together in order to achieve our efforts. We are pleased to announce that the Hellenic Arm Wrestling Federation is a full member of the International Federation of Arm Wrestling IFA of Search, promising an effort and or action of for the development of our beloved sport in Greece, the President Konstantin Psarakis. In case you had the trouble hanging with all of this that was said in the letter, allow me to sum it up for you. In this letter, Greece claims in this document that WAP signed a contract with a private company to do Europeans and in the meanwhile, Poland lost their contract because the money came from a private vet company, Masarenko, and not from the federation directly. This is what I found quite strange because doesn't this signal a double standard from the executive board that they made Poland lose their contract cause one of the reasons why they took fundings from a professional company but they dismisses the Greek arm wrestling federation and gave the organizing rights to a company with really low standards. I'll leave that up to you to decide how to interpret their statement and come to your own conclusions. So what do you guys think about this? Uh, do you think that their decision sounds legit or does it smell fishy? Comment down below what you thought of this letter that they just released a few days ago and leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell, turn on notifications or share this video and have a nice day and keep being awesome.